click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a last numerical that is problem number 6 which is based on ROC in Z transform. Basically just revise whole thing that we have studied in last 5 videos. The ROC will be available at Z equals to 0, Z equals to infinity or you can say that only in between the regions. Now let's see the last numerical where this ROC will lie and what will be the Z transform of this question. So the problem number six, determine the Z transform and their ROC of signal where the X of N is given 1, 0, 1 and 2. The arrow is marked on the rightmost bit, which means we have a samples and the sign value will be a negative or you can say all the instants are negative. We'll find out the Z transform and the later on we'll move on to ROC of this function. Now. Here the origin, this arrow is placed on the rightmost bit, which means this is having origin value or this is our origin value and our, you can say that our origin we have amplitude too. Now all the samples are available on left hand side, which means the instants are negative. So at the minus one instant we have amplitude one, at the minus two instant we have amplitude zero and at minus three instant we have amplitude one. Now so what is the range of small n or small n varies from minus 3 to 0 now we will write the definition of z transform and then we'll substitute this value of n from minus 3 to 0 Why have substituted n value from minus 3 to 0? The reason is basically our function is available only in between that range from minus 3 to 0 and the rest of the part the function having amplitude 0. So no need to use that rest of the part that is from minus infinity 0 our interested value is minus 3 to 0 that's why I have replaced the summation n value from minus 3 to 0. Now what is the next? We want to calculate x of z so first of all I will break this summation value which number or which sample value will substitute first of course we will always substitute the lowest value first and then highest value which means the minus 3 value will comes first and then later on the last value will be 0 but look at here we have the sample values the three samples values and all are negative so the order of z or the power of z will be a positive reason if the n value is negative so already we have a minus sign so minus and minus will get cancelled answer will be positive substitute values of x of minus 3 minus 2 x of minus 1 and x of 0 in this formula well x of minus 3 is having amplitude 1 x of minus 2 is having amplitude 0 x of minus 1 is having amplitude 1 and x of 0 is having amplitude 2. Now 0 into anything answer is 0 and 1 into z cube and 1 into z to the power 1 remains as it is that is z to the power 3 and z to the power 1. And this is nothing but the answer or you can say the z transform of x of n. So our next part is we will find out the ROC and we will see where and what will be the actual region of conversion of this given function. Now we will find out the ROC and this is the result of given function x of z or you can say the z transform of x of n. Now what we are going to do we will substitute the values of z only two values we are going to substitute and that will be the extreme that is z equals to 0 and z equals to infinity we are going to substitute if i substitute z equals to 0 on the right hand side of x of z then what you will get both this z will be replaced by 0 so we have 0 plus 0 plus 2 answer is 2 which means at z equals to 0 what you will get you will get the finite result 
now we'll move on to last value if i substitute z equals to infinity then first two value will gives us an infinite result and next one is a constant that is 2 so infinity plus 2 answer is infinite so at the z equals to infinity what you will get infinite result which means roc is available over the entire region of z plane but exclude z equals to infinity because it gives us an infinite result what is important if the value of z gives us a finite result then that value will be nothing but our roc and if that value will gives us infinite result then it will not be a part of ROC. So, Z equals to infinity is not a part of ROC. Z equals to zero is the answer. Now, the statement is important because that statement will tell us the idea about where the ROC will lie or what is the region of that ROC. So, the statement is The statement is the ROC of X of Z available over the entire region of Z plane but excluding exceptional cases Z equals to infinity because if I substitute Z equals to infinity in my X of Z what I have got infinite result. So these all are the things you have to do while calculating the ROC of functions but in Z transform. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.